Welcome to Lecture 8, Canvases and Windows. The objectives for this lecture are basic canvas and window concepts, content canvases and windows, stack canvases, and toolbar canvases. These three are the three main types of canvases. Okay, the window is basically the frame of the form. And canvas are the different uh, pieces of that frame. For a canvas to be visible, it must be assigned to a window. At the same time, the window to be visible, it must have a base canvas. So windows have a few different types. We have document window types and dialog window types. Dialog window types, you can move around. They can move outside of the, the whole larger container of the, uh, of the application, which is actually called the MDI, the Multiple Document Interface Window. This is the basic window which contains all the, the windows of that application. So if you, if you make a window uh, property type document, it can be, it, it'll stay within the MDI. And if you make a dialog, then it can be moved out. Um, so here are some basic concepts. Uh, the window is similar to an empty picture frame. And the canvas is the area within the frame that you paint your objects and your boilerplate items. So a canvas view is the area of the canvas which is visible. Now the reason you have this is if you think of the window being made up of patches of different canvases, some of these canvases um, they have scroll bars just for that little piece and so you can go and see more items or not. So that's why the canvas additionally has a view. So canvas views are always uh, displays in the window that, it, that it's assigned. And then uh, this, this thing that I'm talking about where you have um, a, a larger canvas and you're only displaying a piece of it at a time, that's called a canvas viewport. So this is the area of the canvas that is visible to the user. And if it has scroll bars, then you can move over and see the rest of the canvas. And, uh, and generally, you know, if you have a canvas which is larger than its viewport, you'll always want to put on scroll bars. The reason you would do this is if you have um, an application with, a, with a, quite a lot of data items, and maybe a lot of these data items don't need to be accessed that frequently, then you can put them in a, a canvas that has a view part with, with scrolling, with scroll bars, so they can scroll over and see more of it. So the canvas object may not be completely visible, and then the, the viewport is what defines this area. So here are, um, this is an overview of some of the different types of canvases. We have a horizontal toolbar canvas. Now this replaces the default little icons that you've seen when you've used the runtime forms. And uh, you can create your own set of, of uh, buttons, and that would be a toolbar canvas. And then we can also have a stacked canvas, which means that it's stacked on top of the main canvas and it can appear or disappear, depending on um, how you want to control that. The content canvas, which is the base canvas, and then the canvas view, which means the piece of the canvas you know, that, that you can see. And this is a better way of, of seeing the integration of some of the different types of canvases into one form. And I've pointed out a few of the main properties. So the height of the toolbar canvas, you can see that that kind of bar on the top, that's a, a toolbar canvas, and it has two buttons, and it, it can be uh, whatever width you want, and that's something you control with the height. And then um, the larger canvas, the content canvas on the bottom, which fills up the whole thing, and its view is, is pretty much the whole, you know, the same as the window view. And then uh, the stacked canvas is the darker canvas, which you see off to the right, and the X, Y position, which means its position on the content canvas or the main window, um, it, and its X, Y coordinates are that upper left-hand corner. And then you also give it a width and height. So the content canvas is the base view which occupies the entire content page of the window. So at least one content canvas must exist for every window in your application. And the stacked canvas are the secondary canvases which you pile up on top. And a stacked canvas is never the sole content, it's never the sole canvas in a window, and it's always stacked on top of other canvases. And the size is, is usually smaller, I would really say it's always smaller than the window. 
And um, when you would make use of a stacked canvas, let's say you had those audit uh, items and you only want to make them visible if the user wishes to see them, then you would have a, you know, a button which may make the, the uh, canvas which you had those on visible or invisible. So you can hide a canvas using the built-in set view property. And when you use the set view property, you have to first have the name of the canvas and what you're setting the property, which property you're setting. So in this case, it's the visible property. And then you're setting that property to be false. And at the same time, um, another way to bring a canvas into view or even to open a second window in the form is simply to navigate it with the built-in go item or go block. Now, find view, this is, uh, we mentioned this when I went over the list of, of different built-ins. And this has to do with uh, the way that PL's SQL um, built-ins in forms is handling uh, how to set different properties. And because in the set view property, which may be uh, something that you'll use to change property at runtime, uh, you need to have the ID of the view of the canvas uh, as, a pro as one of the parameters in the set view property. First, you have to get it. So, and the, the ID is, is something which you don't even need to know. It's, it's the system ID. So find view will search the list of canvases and return the view ID, which is a data type viewport. And uh, when it finds a valid canvas with that name, it will give you that ID. And then this ID can then be used by other built-ins, like said view property. Um, some of the, the various Oracle built-ins have been progressing to be more and more simpler. So hopefully this is one that, that you know, in the future may, may be handled in a simpler way. So here's a good example of how we're uh, kind of turning some canvases on and off. Let's say we had this history canvas. History would be like the audit columns. That may be how you decide to call that for the users. So first, we have to uh, find the view of history, which means we're getting the ID. And we're putting that ID into the variable v view. Now we're going to say we have to get the property with the get view property. We're going to get the visible property for that uh, canvas of whose ID is vView. And if that's true, then we're going to do this. Then we're going to set the view property for that canvas visible to be false. Or if it is um, false, which means if it's not visible, we're going to make it visible. So this way, this button works either way. If it's visible, it makes it, this could be on a when button press trigger, and this button would bring the history canvas into view if it wasn't into view, or would hide it if it was. It was just like a toggle button. And then it's else here is to set the view property. Once again, v view holds the ID of that canvas, and the property which it's changing is visible, and it's setting it to true. And then we're closing the if statement. Now, another type of uh, canvas that we have is a toolbar canvas. And this is really like a line of buttons that you would have on the top of your form. So this is a special type of canvas view that you create to hold buttons and GUI widgets and things that your users use frequently. And there are two ways of doing this, horizontal or vertical. Now, it's good to realize that um, starting in, I think it was Oracle five, uh, Forms 5, you started to have the ability to make icons from the windows. So you could also make a toolbar based on the menu icons. So this is. Um, the way that we used to have to make the toolbars before we had that capability. But you can still make use of it, or you may find that it exists in your application because this is an older application which has migrated up from different systems. So you have two types of canvases for the toolbar. One is vertical and one is horizontal. The benefits of having the, the toolbar canvas is you, you give it a standard look and feel, and it basically gives you an alternative to a menu or function key operation. Um, now, a tab canvas, you're probably very familiar with these in almost any application you've made use of. Uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, all of these have many of these. They have different tabs. Um, it kind of looks like one, 
you know, little window with little tabs, like file tabs. Uh, so these are made up of one or more tabs. Um, they group and display a large amount of related information. So this is uh, something you want to use when you have quite a lot of data items and you're going to group them. Uh, so the tab pages um, that collectively comprise the tab canvas each display a subset of the information on the entire tab canvas. Now, basically, I've gone through the main um, canvas types and the main window types. So when you run the demonstration that's associated with this chapter, you, we will examine the form EX0801 and EX0802, which you, you have. Um, and we'll go over the different canvas types there and the different windows. And uh, you will proceed by doing your homework for Chapter 8, and you'll be ready for Chapter 9. Thank you.